Okay. Hi everybody. Okay, we're doing something really fun today. I'm Sandy Sandler. I'm the creator of Bodera, and we're gonna do some fun Bodera stuff. But I just wanna let you know that normally I'll look right into the camera, but I have two cameras today because Whitley is filming for Instagram and Jill is filming for Bodabra Facebook. So we're gonna see how this works. I'm kind of excited because this is a first. Hi Terry. So hi Terry. Um, so anyway, I am, we are celebrating Chinese New Year. Now everybody has been telling me all day long, you can't do Chinese New Year because Chinese New Year was on the 16th. I know that. But in China and in Chinese tradition, you celebrate Chinese New Year for seven days. Um, so it's kind of fun. And so today we are going to make some Chinese New Year fun projects, which of course you can just change the colors that I use and make it for anything. You can do it for 4th of July, you could do it for Christmas, we're a little early for Christmas, you can do it for St. Patty's Day. So all of this stuff works for pretty much any holiday. Okay, so I'm going to start by making a, just a very simple bow. And for anybody that's not familiar with Bodabra, let me just show you really quick. Um, underneath here, we have springs. And so the springs are gonna automatically adjust to anything that I put into the Bodabra. So it's like having a third hand. So I'm gonna put my Bodabra now down, and now I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire. And I'm just gonna fold my Bodabra bow wire in half and lay it down into my Bodabra. Now I'm also trying something. I'm trying to watch, let's see if I can actually watch this. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to see if I can watch this on my Facebook. Yeah, um, Janet had to go get her son. She's gonna watch this later, so. Oh, okay, thanks <laughs> for letting me know. Um, but anyway, so what I'm gonna do right now is I've, I've doubled my wire and laid that into my Bodabra. So now I'm gonna cut my tails for my bow and I'm gonna combine two different ribbons. So these are actually Christmas ribbons, but they're Chinese New Year colors. So I'm gonna actually have fun with them today. So I'm gonna first put my red ribbon down in here and I'm gonna take my gold ribbon and I'm just gonna put that here. So, and your tails, you can just make them any size you want. So the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna just combine the two and let's just take enough of this ribbon and just cut it. And honestly, I haven't really measured it. I think I have about two yards, but I'm not 100% certain. So we'll just take this out of the way here and I'm gonna just double, or no, I'm not. I'm changing my mind, which I do a lot. Anybody mm -hmm. that watches me regular. So this is on the inside this is my right side and this is my wrong side of my ribbon. So I'm gonna start with my right side up, I'm gonna twist it and I'm gonna put that down. And the reason that I twist it is so the wrong side of the ribbon is on the inside of my loop. So I'm gonna just twist and put this down here. And I'm gonna fold and twist and scrunch it in. And fold and twist and scrunch. And I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing, fold, twist, scrunch. And um, now I'm going to take my silver, my gold ribbon and I'm gonna start it on this side. And I'm just gonna twist it. And this is the same on both sides. So in, whoops, in reality, I don't really have to twist it. Oh, actually it's not the same on both sides. I take that back, I do have to twist it. So this is the right side. Twist it and put that down. And it does not want to stay. Twist, there we go. And twist and scrunch. Fold, twist and scrunch. Fold, twist and scrunch. And this is a, this ribbon was a really curly cube up so it's fighting with me but then that's the nice thing about um, having the Bodabra because it holds everything. But I, I'm gonna take my wand and I'm really gonna scrunch everything out. And that helps it all really stay when you have your wand. Now, to make my floral loop in the middle, I'm just gonna make a smaller loop right here, and I'm not twisting, and I'm just gonna put that down into the Bodabra. Now, I'm gonna take my wand one more time and scrunch everything in. 
Then the reason this does not want to scrunch. <laughs> the reason that um, I folded my wire in half was so I would have a slip knot. But of course, it didn't. Whoops! Here we go. It didn't want to come through. So see, you see, we all have problems with Bodabra, even me, and always when I'm live. So I'm going to just pull this through here and pull it tight. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Ronnie. Who is it? Ronnie. Or... Oh, Ronnie. Ronnie Hi, Jill. Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie Jill from Ronnie Jill Creates. That's it. And now I'm going to bring it around to the back, and I'm just going to tie it off and tie a knot. Oops, I think I'm tying a knot. And then now I'm just going to shape this here. And you have a really pretty Chinese New Year. Oh, and just bring my tails down and just keep shaping. And one of the things that I like to, to remind everybody is when you're shaping, and I'm just going to cut this little piece here. When you're shaping a bow, um, you want to do it on the, sur fi the final shaping. You want to do it on the surface that you're going to put it on because here I'm just shaping in the air. So once it's on a hard surface, then I can get it exactly the way that I want. So I'm going to put that aside and we're going to go on to making our first craft project. Crystal has joined us and, J and Ronnie says, glad I caught you. Tea is ready and watching. Cool. <laughs> thank you. Hey, you guys, please share. It would be so awesome if you'd share with your friends that we're live. I would really appreciate it. So now what we're doing, and this is kind of fun, is we're going to make a Chinese New Year card. And we've already got the black cardstock cut, and I've just taped a piece of our scrunchy ribbon on here. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think, double side tape is uh, right there on either side. I have top. A double side tape top, here. Top, top, top. Oh no, wait. yeah, it's right here. Okay, I'll put it on the top. Oh, there. okay. Well. <laughs> um. Anyway, so I have the double sided tape, and now this is our mesh ribbon and it comes in the silver, and it also comes in the gold. And you can, it's really cool because you can actually um, just cut this to, you can, it has like the, like um, several rows here. I think it's 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I'm sorry. So you can cut it to three rows or whatever width you want. And, and it's really, really easy, and you can see it's really soft to work with. So, and we do have that in our store now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take a piece of double-sided tape, because you can tape it, you can glue it, which is really nice. And you can even make a bow out of it. So I'm just gonna put my double-sided tape there and just put that across the bottom of my card. And I'm just gonna put the card aside for a second. Then I'm going to take my mini Bidabra and I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire and I'm just gonna cut it here, fold it in half and lay that down into my Bodabra. And I'm just gonna take my scrunchie ribbon, which is just cut in strips and I'm just gonna make a little itty bitty scrunchie bow. And I can even put in like um, this little piece of tinsel in there and just pull this through and pull it. What happened? Yeah, phone call. Oh, okay. I guess people don't know that I'm on <laughs> live right now. So I'm twisting it and just going to cut it and I'm going to take a glue dot and hopefully, let me see mm -hmm. the front. I always have to, anybody who watches me regularly knows that Blue Dots and I are not always the best of friends. So, and in fact, you know what? I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna put it here, I think. Okay, one more time. There you go. There we go. And so now, I'm just gonna stick this right there. And we cheated and already have a couple other ones made. So again, I'm gonna just cheat here. Nick Marquis just joined us as well. Hi! 
Whoops. You know, I need to thank you guys so much <laughs> for taking the time out of your evenings to spend it with me. It means a lot, and I really appreciate it. And thanks for the hearts, guys. I always appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Love the hearts. Okay, one more hearts. time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, let's just... We're in the I think because it's cold. Oh, know. yeah, it is cold here. And anybody back east is going to be making fun of us because they think it's like 50 degrees. But seriously, it's cold for us. And I imagine my garage, this makeshift studio, you might want to just like go around so people can see what our studio actually is. It's my garage. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have this like cool okay. backdrop that kind of falls down. But this is like my storage cabinet mm -hmm. behind here. But seriously, like last night, we had 60 mile an hour wind gusts, which is cold. Yes. Um, so, I mean, we're not total wimps here. Well, well, Crystal maybe says I am. cold here and rainy. Well, fortunately, we don't have that. No, but oh, we need the rain, though. Can you send some our way? <laughs> Keep the cold, but we'll take the <laughs> rain. Okay. In one minute, I don't know why I'm even messing with this, but here we go. So now we have this one, and then this time I'm really totally cheating and I'm using double stick tape. <laughs> now, for, Terry, isn't Terry down in San Diego? Terry's in, yeah, Terry, aren't you on Palomar Mountain? Am I right in remembering that? Which she's like away from the world. If Terry wants to go to the store, she has to like drive an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, I'm familiar with Palomar Mountain. It's really pretty. So now we have our three scrunchies, and then this really, really cool, um, they're just like little bells. I think it's from a Christmas decoration that Terry actually, not Terry, um, Jill, and I should not be cutting that with those scissors. I would get so mad if somebody else did it. Um, and Reef, then now- Reef said it I, snowed yesterday, melting today in Washington state, and Terry said yes, Palomar Mountain. So now where's everybody else from? As I play with my little blue dots and try to not let anybody notice. <laughs> Okay, we're using double-sided tape on this. Glue dots really do work, or a Zot, or whatever you want to use. I'm just going to put this under here, and I'm just going to stick my little bell here. I promise this will be worth the wait. This is like such a cute little card. Maybe. It sticks with the double-sided tape. There we go. And then just stick this here. And I would really use a glue dot, but I don't think you guys need to see me struggling with it. And doesn't that make like a really, really cute card? And simple, simple to make. Um, as long as you don't have trouble with your glue adhesives, <laughs> like I always do. But, and you can change the background. You could use the gold, the silver. I love the scrunch because it gives it that, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm looking at it, not sharing. Gives it that really shiny finish. So, anyway, I hope you guys like it. So now, let's put all this aside. And to make a fun little Chinese. It is Year of the Dog. So I just wanted to share. So we're going to use, since Vivi doesn't feel like modeling, which she doesn't like to do a lot. I think that's the, that's the best model picture we have of Vivi, where she actually stood still for us to take her picture. Otherwise, she doesn't like to have her picture taken. Just very shy. So now I'm going to take my, oh, actually I already have the Bodabra bow wire um, already has um, a little for the year of the dog, we obviously have a little paw on there. So I'm just gonna lay that down into my mini Bodabra. Um, actually, no, I'm not. I'm changing my mind. You can put your Bodabra bow wire in first? Yep. Yeah. So I have my Bodabra bow wire, and I'm just gonna fold it in half and lay it into my mini Bodabra. And I'm just gonna take my pieces out of here. Keeping Hope Alive said, is this live class held every Monday evening at 7 p.m.? She's from Philly. And she said, if so, I'll be ready with my Bodabra and supplies next week. Oh, totally cool. Yeah, um, yes, However, we do. Every, yeah. every Monday, we do do a live. But unfortunately, next Monday, um, I, have, I have ulcerative colitis. I know some of you know that. And I've had a lot of difficulties with the medicines that I've been on. But now I have a great medicine, except it's an infusion. So I have to go every six weeks to the lab and have it in, I mean, uh, to a center and have it infused. And it's happening next Monday during my Facebook Live time. But every other Monday, I try to do it. 
And I'm really excited because I'm doing something new now where I'm getting everything set up so I'll be able to do more Facebook Lives. But please join me um, in two weeks and I'll definitely be here 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's so cool. She said she's so sorry to hear of your pain. Oh, thank you. But I'm actually really lucky. Things are going really well right now. So just let's keep like hearts and flowers <laughs> and everything else going to keep it going well. So um, anyway, so I'm going to just stick my, um, my little scrunchie ribbon in here. And I'm going to take some red scrunchie and put that in. Because these are our Chinese New Year colors. And we have our little... Um, little piece of ribbon and these are just scraps and then now I'm going to take a little piece of my um, this is our mesh which is so cool to be able to use in everything and now I'm going to put my paw in and I'm going to take my two ends of my Bodabra bow wire I'm going to pull this through hold my bow while it's in the Bodabra and bring it out separate the ends and I'm just going to tie a knot. Oops. And um, I would normally just tie this onto my puppy's collar. But, oh, I'm just going to clip this here. And let's see here. Now I have the paw there. And then now what I'm going to do is just tie one more knot here. I don't remember if I double knotted it or not. And I'm going to... Just cut my wire. I probably used a little too much wire here, so I'll be able to reuse the extra pieces. Um, and now, mm -hmm. here we go again. We're going to try. I'm just going to take a glue dot, maybe, here. Okay, now we're going to take one of these glue dots. Oh, yeah, and for fun, we, we wrapped the... Oh, that's right. Jill was having fun, and she actually wrapped the hair bow, um, the, the alligator clip. This is an alligator clip, right? Yes. The alligator clip in um, with uh, Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. So it's, this is kind of a fun scrunchie project. So now I'm just going to stick this right here on top of my scrunchie ribbon, and hopefully it'll stay. And now pull it off. Of course, now everything that I don't want sticking is sticking. I have no choice. It either works or it works too well. Okay, and then now I'm just going to stick that right on there. So we have our cute little year of the dog. Whoops. Hair bow. And I'll just clip this right here. And okay, yes, I'm clipping it on his ear. We'd never do that with a real dog. Why isn't that working right? There you go. There we go. Not cute. Isn't that fun? So I would put it, I would just tie it onto my dog's collar. I don't like to put the rubber bands in their hair because it just bugs them and it never stays. But Vivi will wear bows forever if I put them on her collar. Crystal says, great idea, Jill. <laughs> I know, isn't it a great idea? So anyway, now we are going to move on. Thank you, Terry. And let's see what we have here. Here. So, you guys, please let all your friends know about Bodabra and share links to our posts. Really appreciate it. And I don't know if many of you know that we do have a blog. We have new posts on our blog every, all well, like four times a week. And you can watch the rerun of our Facebook Lives on our blogs. So, now we're going to make a fun one of the traditions of Chinese New Year is they they have all kinds of things like the first day they have a big family dinner and on the next night they have um they i can't remember everything i have it written down now i have a cheat sheet so um they the, oh on the third the day a couple days before they have a day of cleaning so they clean everything up and then um they have on the 15th they have a whole family reunion dinner and the thing about china is most people actually live and work at the factories they work at so you have billions of people, literally billions of people, or not billions, but billions of trips going back home to where they live for Chinese New Year. And so a lot of China literally shuts down because there's nobody in the factories to work during the, the period. It's about a two week period, even though Chinese New Year only lasts for seven days. And then the whole celebration 
ends and begins with kind of the Chinese New Year, which is this year it's on the, I mean, Chinese New Year, Chinese Valentine's Day, or the Festival of the Lanterns that will happen this year, I believe, on the 2nd of, no, yes, the, is it the 2nd of March? Yes, the 2nd of March. So that's kind of cool to watch because if you if you go on YouTube or on your um, Facebook, you'll see in social media all kinds of pictures of the Festival of the Lanterns. So watch for that on March 2nd. And then the other thing that I think is really fun is they have like the second day of Chinese New Year is actually the wife's, they visit the wife's house. So they really arrange this so everybody gets included. So now I'm going to do a fun, another thing that they do is they have a day where they have like the ghost of poverty goes away and they throw all kinds of stuff. But before that happens, they welcome in the God of wealth. I actually think that's tonight, but I could be wrong. So don't quote me on it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to put um, a couple pieces. I've given up on glue adhesives for right now. A couple pieces of, um, of double-sided tape on top of my little ball. We're just making a fun, could be a pick. Um, and everything is sticking to me right now. Okay. It started out as a chopstick. Yes. And then it's just painted. And then this is just a cute little styrofoam ball and I'm just going to center my piece and the reason I put tape on here is just so that it would stay in place and wouldn't keep rolling off. And then now I'm going to take another piece and it's kind of like when I wrap a gift and we're just going to cover um, the top of this ball and I'm just going to do a little, bring my wire around and just twist it. And that is the cool thing about the wire, is you can just kind of twist. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to put this aside. And I'm going to take some Bodabra Bow Wire. I'll get my way here. And I'm going to just cut a piece. And again, what's really cool about this, I'm making a little wand. But you could make, it's for Chinese New Year, but seriously, it could work for any time of year. So I think I didn't cut that quite long enough. So I'm going to just put that away because we'll definitely find a use for it. And now I'm probably cutting it too long, but it makes it easier for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to fold it and tuck the ends underneath. So now, as you can see, this is already frayed the edges here. And so I'm just going to put scrunch the Bodabra scrunchy ribbon in here and take a piece of red also and, and scrunch it down this way. And take some gold and just kind of scrunch that in. And, and take my wand. And one good tip is if you do lose your wand, you can use a ruler like a 12 inch ruler, a wooden ruler, instead of the wand, because sometimes we do lose our wands. Um, that's probably the most common question that I get from people. So now I'm um, just going to take some beads and throw those in. And then there's this little piece here that's kind of all just taken off of another project so that we did at Christmas time. And so now we're just going to redo it into our. Um, New Year's, Chinese New Year's bow or pick or wand, whoops, and now I'm going to take my, so much bow wire in here, I've got to figure out which ends to grab. So now I'm just going to pull it through my slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in the bodaba, separate my ends, bring it around to the back, and twisting will hold everything so I'm just going to twist this and I'm going to tie this I think here and now I'm just going to tie this onto whoops oh goodness gracious put that back through there there we go and now we'll just tie this on here I think I'll actually get this done. I have too much bow wire here. 
and knot it. And I'm just gonna kind of clip the ends here. And let's and now you have this really cute little Chinese New Year wand. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So <laughs> Now, let's see if we have time for one. I think we have time for one more project. Now, this is kind of a cool project because we actually did this one as a blog post. And all I did was cover a mason jar with some fabric. And these are really cool. I got this. I'll give you the link. This is a great website. It's www.activityvillage.co.uk. Again, that's www.activityvillage.co.uk. And what was so cute is they have this little booklet and for it's a fortunes kind of a game for telling fortunes. It's great to do with your family. You can do it for anything, not just Chinese New Year. And each number is associated with a fortune, like accept a surprise invitation and you will have fun. You will receive a letter containing good news. So it's just kind of like fortune cookies. So all of these, um, we just used popsicle stick craft sticks and painted them, but all of these have a number on them and the number, so it's upside down. So when you pull it out, the number correlates with your fortune and then you can go read it. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how I made this bow. It's super, super simple. Um, and you can also go to our blog post and see. So now I'm going to take, whoops, I'm going to take my Bow Dabber Bow Wire. Hi, Rodina. Thank and you for peace. joining us. Hi. And I keep forgetting which camera I'm looking at. So I'm sorry, you guys, because I'm used to looking at Terry and her camera, and I forget Whitley's here with her camera. So I'm just going to fold my Bow Dabber Bow Wire in half and lay that down into my Bow Dabber. And just tuck the ends underneath, put my little wand away. And now get all this stuff out of the way here. So now what I'm gonna do is just, and it's so much fun because this is really Christmas ribbon, but it works perfectly for Chinese New Year. So you can kind of repurpose. And so I'm just gonna lay these in here. This is really simple and you know, I think it's probably clear, but these are just scraps of ribbon that we dovetailed. So just gonna lay that the in. bird says hello. Hi! Thanks you guys so much for being here. It's so cool. Um, and then I'm just going to lay this down in here and put my ribbon here, another piece of ribbon here, and for lots of fun, just going to finish it off with some scrunchie ribbon. I love our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. And I'm so excited that we finally have it in our store. And you know, what's so much fun about this project is you can just use scraps. And then, I'm not sure why, but I'm gonna add this little silver in on top. So we really have lots of sparkle. And scrunch it all down. And then I have these cute little sort of Chinese ornament beads and put that down in there. And now I'm just going to take my Bow Dabber Bow Wire, pull the two ends through my slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in the Bow Dabber, pull it out, separate the ends, pull it tight again, bring it around to the back, and just going to tie a knot. And, now, I'm just going to shape it. Not fun and so simple. And that's basically how I made the bow that we tied onto our fortune game little mason jar fun thing. <laughs> and so now, and you can use, obviously, this is just a really cool way to take your scrap ribbon and make a bow. So I just want to. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope I'll see you in two weeks when we do our next Facebook Live. So it'll be two weeks from today. 
um, on at Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thanks, you guys. Have a great night.